Hello. Fastfinder time. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, I was going to say, I'm sure you were. If I forgot, it's probably not important, right? Probably. Hello? I, I'm i here. Oh. Hey, hello. Are you gonna start? Uh, I n just need to upload his token and uh. we'll be all set. Yeah. I gotta recycle something really quick. Hold on. Alright. Just need to drop. Just need to drop his sorry. Well, and he's all set. Sweet, there I am. All right. So, uh, everybody, be ready because he went. To, uh, those quick. Here, let's do a. Here, let's do a. I'm back. Why is dice being rolled? Why does somebody just roll 88 damage? <laughs> I was just doing a funny. Uh, I missed it. Yeah. All right. Everybody here? Yep. Pretty sure. Yep. Let's go. Okay, Jokey. Now, that last time on Abomination Vaults, you killed Morlocks, and you killed zombies, and you're exploring, and you have two doors in Two doors. Two doors. One goes somewhere, and the other goes somewhere. Which somewhere do we want to go? The somewhere Maybe. doesn't have the blood wounds. What? The one from the other, like, um, basement. North or east? Perhaps you hear a sound from the east door. East? Said east. Alright. I open it. You open the door and you see a you see a being climbing out of the well. On second thought No. Bruh. <laughs> 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 okay, what's on what's over in the north door? <laughs> alright, fine. You alright, fine. You don't get any of the loot. Oh loot? Okay, never mind then. 
<laughs> He's climbing out with a bag of loot. Yeah. Hello, uh, whatever you are. May I have that loot, please? Uh, yeah, oh, hello. Um, uh, actually, it's, uh, some of my own belongings. Uh, thank you for opening that door. You're welcome. Why are you in the well? Um, you know, I, I can't quite say how I got into the well. Uh, I recall a, uh, a large thump on the back of my head and I woke up here. Hmm. What are you? What am I? Yeah. Uh, a, a, a magic user by trade, uh. I assume you're talking about my, uh, rather shadowy persona. You know what's happening here? Yeah. Are we being, we're being shadowist? That's all right. I understand. <laughs> no, I, I just... No, no, I am, I, I am, uh, what is known as a fetchling. <sighs> and a, 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 one that means you know ill will, I should also mention. All right. Yeah. Uh, would you like to explore with us? I I would greatly like to be out of this well. Yes. Uh, perhaps you... I can find out where where I am and uh, get things sorted back out. You are are in the creepy vase basement. Creepy basement. Well, that... well, great way to what? great way to explain the vaults. <laughs> <laughs> The creepy basement. <laughs> ah, yes, the creepiest of basements. That is the Doom Vault. I will send you to Brazil if you don't call this episode that. <laughs> what, the creepy basement? The creepy basement. <laughs> uh, do you need help getting out um, of the well? I could probably, uh, climb my way out here in a moment, uh, yeah. Oh, maybe I, maybe I can't. There you go. Ah, there we are. Thank you. All right. And you come out pulling out all the loot you found down there. It's all uh, right, which is all right here. You can double click on the pile to uh, look at it and pick out from the loot. Yes, this here is the uh, the bag of riches. Great. Cool. Uh. Excuse me. Now that, that was an epic burp. Thank you. You're welcome. So Basically, the loot pile consists of one healing potion, lesser, uh, two rapiers, three studded leather armors, and three sets of thieves. Actually, if no one minds, I'll just take one of these, uh, these, uh, these thieves' tools. Do you know how to take from the pile? I just clicked the button, so I think so. Yes. Yes, you did. All right. All right. Would you like the studded leather armor? Uh, I'm actually wearing leather armor of my own, which I'm, uh, I'm okay with for now. I have other... I have my own rapier, which I was thrown into that well with, apparently. Maybe this healing potion. Nobody's going to need that. I'll just hang on to it for now. Yep. Bard already has other. All right. No but, uh, oh, uh, allow me to um, introduce myself, of course. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Sorcel. I, uh... Sorcel? 
Yes, yes. Uh, I believe I am still in Otari? Yeah, you're underneath Otari. Underneath Otari? Yeah. All right, well. You're under Otari. That's under, a good start. Uh, the Gauntlet Lighthouse, to be specific. Fascinating. Well, then I think I am exactly where I am supposed to be. Yeah, this place was glowing when it was was not supposed to. Cause look at the state of this place. You think how how recently do you think somebody has been keeping this up? Not very recently. I would say not. Uh, but uh, yes. So um, I, I thank you all for uh, for for getting me out of this well. Um, wh where what were people doing? Where were you, where were you all going? Oh, uh, we're just exploring. No. Well, Wait. if that's uh, not too much to ask, I think uh, maybe I would uh, accompany you until we can perhaps get topside and I can get my bearings a bit. Yeah. We are investigating the keep because of all the, you know, lighting up when it's not supposed to shenanigans. Right. I've heard about that. Yeah. You you good? You good? Are you good? <laughs> yes. Cool. So about right. that north door, we should probably go through it now. All right. Let me uh see. What do we need? Move the door. All oh, right. By the way, I did take the rapier and the fuse tools. All right. Okay. All right. So with after a three round activity, you remove the barricade blocking the uh the door. So now we can enter. Was that the sound kit sounds of removing barricade? Yep. Alrighty then. Alrighty. Is there anything in this hallway or wherever this room? Yes, you see uh the alcoves along the walls might have might once have been storerooms, but the stone shelves are all empty. This room smells foul. Which is Yeah. Ah. Plug your nose, guys. Alright. There's a. There seems to be a pillow here. Yes, this place is being used. To, it, it, the foul odor is due to this room's, room's use as a prison. Ugh. And oh. You, and you see the. And you see three of the prisoners right here. Hi. Uh. Hi. Um. Are you harmless? Don't hurt us. Won't hurt you. Why are you here? Those Morlocks took us prisoner. Oh, the dudes we killed over there? Alright. They were, they were kind of rude. Did you at least lead us out of this place? Uh, yeah, sure. Alright. By the way, uh, would, if anybody would like to, you can roll society on society. Let's click that thing in chat I put. Oh. Yeah. It will roll it with the DC package so it tells you if you succeed or fail. Okay. Alright, so Six. you can tell that uh that each of them bears a bird tattoo on their right shoulder that indicates membership of the Osprey Club. The Osprey Club? Yes. It's a Thieves Guild. It's basically Atari Thieves Guild. They're not very good at keeping it a secret. Uh. 
Alright. So to save us some time, you safely escort these guys back out. That way you don't have to drag your tokens back to the entrance. All right. I he was over here. Oh, oh just seems like another door from here. Yes. Right. Should we go this way? Let's see. Oh, okay, more doors. Doors ahoy. One of those doors are a mimic. One of those doors are what? A mimic. But no, the doors aren't mimic. Are you gonna open the door? Yeah. I'll open the other one. Go. Oh. All right. You walk into this place. This large open area is a filthy mess. Even beyond the collapse to the south that clogs part of the room with rubble. Half eaten fish, cat sized beetles, and bits of waterfowl lie strewn about in a tangle and gnawed bones of larger creatures. You also see some more warlocks here, fit fiddling with a partially ruined ballista that they dragged in pieces. I don't suppose those are friends of yours. No, no relation to me. No, not friend. Most likely Fro. Right, not. Right. You're talking, and they're ready to. It is time to roll with the initiative once more. All right, Project. So, and to roll initiative, you uh, first, uh, you uh, right-click your token, and then you click on that little sword, that swords and shield symbol, which enables toggles your combat stance. And then you go to the encounters tab in the top right. Yep. Yep. And then you find your. Uh, just roll that. Hit that die button there. Yep. Just hit the die button. All right. All right. We still Can't need to be bad every time, on. please. You keep on failing that. Yep. One day I will get it. One day. All right. Now let me just roll for the Morlocks. All right, Hero, you're up first. Do something like spell. <sighs> There was something cool. You're shooting with feasible. That is a hit. Oh, yes, battle. Beat. This one called first to the front.
Okie dokie. Seven damage. We have one action left. So, Hero, I can't hear you. Oh. Sorry, I turned my mic off. Uh. Can I spend a turn, turn just trying to load up my sling? Alright, there's a reload macro. Oh. Oh, you draw your sling. Oh. Alright. I think I have it. Yeah. Alright. If you don't have the macro, you can drag it from the compendium into your hotbar. Type reload. Oh. This is a feature of the FP2 range combat mo module? What? Uh. Looks like I gotta figure out stuff and, uh. Yeah. Well, here, you drew your sling, so that's your turn. Yeah. Alright. I suppose I have to end my turn, right? Yeah, I, I just did it for you. No, oh, thank you. No problem. Alright. Time for a Morlock Scavenger. Uh, hey, Fred. No. Ow. Holy five. Stop hitting me. Alright, fine. I'll go hit Hero instead. Stab, stab, stab. Oof. Only three damage. Oh. Stab, stab, stab. Ouch. I think we may need some healing soon. And the die. They are down and out at dying too. Oof. Alright, Fred, you're up. Uh... Oh, man. Alright, first I go into point blank uh, shot, and then I use assisting shot with my uh, longbow shot. Alright, that's a normal hit. And it applies assisting shot and then Kills the damage is normal. Max damage. Nice. So the next person who attacks it, other than me, gets a plus one bonus to their attack roll. Um, I'm going to go. Over over here. All right. Hi, interesting. They are rolling well. Oh wait, I forgot about the punch. All 
All right. Miss. Good miss. Ooh. You're up, Thorthal. All right. So I know what I'm going to do. It's just a matter of how learning how to, to make it. it happen in Foundry. Uh, so what I would like to do is take this one that got the assisting uh, uh, shot based on it. Target that one. Um, let's start press, with... You hover... You can target by hovering your mouse over and pressing T. Oh, okay. Excellent. And do that, uh, and then I am going to use my first action to recall knowledge on it. I'm a mastermind rogue, so this is sort of my thing. Um, I know it's a secret check, so I'm not sure what... Uh, the, the quickest way is to uh, go into the compendium, uh, the what's called the second last icon uh, in the tab, the little book. And then yep. search recall, then on macro, just drag that to your macro bar and yeah. It's oh, macro gotcha. bar is that one, two, three, thing. four, with all the numbers on it. Those Got squares. it. All right. Okay. Then we'll do that. Actor does not have an item with ID. What? Right into my bar, so it's there now. Mm -hmm. So just target it and then hit press the button, right? Yeah, that should yep. do it. It's saying uh, your controlled actor does not have an item with in a long string of letters and numbers. That is odd. Yeah. Oh well, just roll the uh, just roll the check you need, which is side. Crit fail. Ah. Oh. Well, I don't know anything about these. Uh, fine. I know I can throw a rock at them. I assume. Uh, so I will do that with a uh, telekinetic projectile for my other two. I remember where that is on this sheet. It's in your spell section. There you go. All right, choose your damage type in the chat. It's a rock. May as well be bludgeoning. Yeah. I don't know. You yeah. could you could be trying to pierce them with the rock. <laughs> that is true. We'll yeah. start with the rock like this. All right. That that's a hit. Roll damage. All right for seven. Near death. Oh, they're squishy. And that's yeah. me. Oh, and then there's probably an end turn somewhere, or? Yeah. The encounter tracker should have popped out when the combat oh. started. Got it. There you go. There you go. All right, oh, interesting. Yeah. You're up. I figured out what I'm doing. Seeing that this, seeing that our body's uh, down, I'm going to spend two of my three actions to uh, heal them. Alright. Let's see. That's the correct one. Then I'm going to spend my last action to conjure a shield around myself. Alright. That's how I turn them. Oh, shit. All 
All right. Morlock scavenger. Stab. Uh. Oh, they're pr oh, they're prone. <laughs> There it is. I was wondering where that did. Alright, then they're gonna throw their dagger. That interesting. And still hit! And that's their turn. All right, Hero, you're up. All right, so... Sorcerer, do you want to swap places? You need to stand up first. All right, yeah. Uh, yes, if you... I can... I'll let you. Oh. Okay, yeah. Let me just... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I'm behind them, it's perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> Yeah, I was just thinking like, oh yeah, I'd probably I'd probably crawl to safety. <laughs> or mm. my character would probably crawl to safety. Right. The smart move. Alright. <laughs> Alright. See, uh not too much I can do. Nope, you only have one action left. Stand up, try try to switch, and So you can't so there's no phase bolt. You don't have you don't have enough actions for a phase bolt, so they yeah, have, they, they end your turn. They have to spin. Mm. Yeah, alright. All right. I'll all do right. that. And I just remembered about the hero points. You can use hero points to stabilize yourself, by the way. Yeah. It costs all of them, but it, it saves you if, you if you end up rolling a recovery check that kills you. So, it doesn't matter how much you have, whether you have one or whether you have three, it's just all of them gone. Alright. Alright, more luck. Stabby, stabby, rogie, rogie. Ow. Hey, don't stab our rogue. Stab. Make me. <laughs> I'd, I'd, well, I, I would, but it's not my turn yet. Wow, they're really good at this. Yes, they are. Holy crap. What the heck? How much? How many HP do you have? Not nearly enough. All right, Fred, you're up. All right. Gonna point blank shot again, and um. It's a stance. You don't have to do it again. Oh, right. I forgot. Ignore that I did that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I don't know why I have plus 11. Oh, the, uh, assisting shot. Oh. Well, it shouldn't apply for me, but whatever. Hmm. Ooh, a critical! Let's go. Twelve. Dead. Good. Good for him. Good for him. And continue shooting. And I miss. And uh, I might as well just send my shirt. Yes. Well, this one, after his friend just died, is going to stab you. No, it ain't. Yes, it will. You're yeah, really good at this. They are very good at this.
These are very effective Morlocks. Alright, back to interesting. Bab. Oof. And I'm interesting. Gonna, and I'm gonna use the shield block from the shield. Which uh, has a hardness of 5. Which reduces, if I'm correct, to... 1 damage. Take Hold on. I need to, uh... you back up all right hmm? why did you go back to dying I don't know <laughs> it's supposed to be a five hit not at dying. God damn it, Foundry. We can get the incentive bitches. <laughs> yeah. Is it being glitchy? Just a little. It's a little glitchiness. Never but heard But then anyone. again, that's but then again, uh th the automation behind all the uh dying and wounded effects being applied is is through uh PF2E workbench. That's where the autom that's where the world automation is being handled. Ah. All right. You're up. You're up, Sorcel. Stab somebody, please. Uh yes, I'm going to stab this guy right here below me. All right. Hopefully a lot now that I've seen how they do it so well. Do something like oh. this? No. Well, that's a trash roll. That's a very trash roll. Well, I can't execute my master plan if they keep not dying. All right. Well, that's what the second roll is for, I'm sure. Natural. 20. There we are. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Oh, that's just. That should have thrown a deadly D8. Also, did it not? Okay, that wasn't a critical roll. So, uh, go ahead and There's roll that. There's damage and then critical, critical Oh, the critical thing. I got you. Yeah, so go ahead and re-roll that. Because that was a trash roll, and you still got and you still got the one. What the hell? Well, some things are meant to be. Some, I guess so. I tried oh, to crush the kill them off. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, it's just... Ugh. God's sakes. All right. Fine. What's the worst that could possibly happen? <laughs> a second nat 20. Oh my goodness. Well, alright. And, and that at map. You're on fire. Nice. Certainly I'm hope you're going one. to fall over now. No. Ah, fantastic. Well, that's... Alright, hero, you're back up. Sorry about that. Well... Uh, cats are being sociable. All right. Uh, you have healing that. spells. I also recommend that on yourself and I'm... anybody really. Let's see, uh, Oh, no, I'm trying to think. Uh, let's see. I think maybe a desperation strike with my rapier would work. I think I have the target ready. Okay, let's see. Debbie. Okay. Oh. All right. Damage, right? Damage. Yep. Okay. Like a kid scratch. If that's my mind, sorry. Okay, let's see. Uh, what's the matter? Up. 
Why is it that your attack roll is for your rapier is using dexterity, but the damage roll is using strength? Because you don't add dex to finesse weapon damage. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, That's... it's the same with my short sword. Ah. I was like, that was odd. <laughs> Let's think of my two remaining actions that I think I could cast, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's say I'll f throw Fable. a rock. <laughs> throw a rock. <laughs> for for a rock magically. And, throw uh, a magic rock. <laughs> okay, so like a. Aim for their skull. I or for the of... funny, uh, aim for their crotch. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Do I put on M MIP minus five since I'm attacking again? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Desperate attack. Oof. Oh. Almost a crit miss. Oh. Dang. Yeah. Missed by nine. Alright. I think I'll recoil and worry, I suppose. Okay. And this one gonna be all like you almost yeah it's gonna it's gonna stab at sore soul for his multiple nat 20s don't make yeah. me weekly crit you multiple times again oh dang it strongly crit you i know <laughs> miss miss all right max you're up I'm gonna shoot the one right in front of me. Okay. That one. A second shot. Did you just bash your head into the table? <laughs> no, I bashed my hand. <laughs> Third Damn, shot, why not? The table did nothing wrong. <laughs> Eight damage. Oh my goodness. It's still alive. Of course, of course. In turn, that was bad. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, Alright, who's next? Of course. Hey, I'm passing off, passing my bad luck onto him. You just had to say something, didn't you? <laughs> Gosh darn it! Uh, uh, I think. Ooh, I'm not looking so good. Too bad. Well, time to get creative. <laughs> I can see, like, the only thing between me and another one is a, a broke friend there. So, as he has not been treated wounds, I try to treat his wounds thanks to my battle man. <laughs> Pass. And wow. then, wow, thank you. Yes. And then, and he also my last my two wounds. actions to try to daze the target down there. <laughs> Alright. Failure. Dead. Died from psychic damage. Mental damage. Whatever, same thing. <laughs> and with that, I'm happy. It's dead. I had a really bad headache, you know. Alright. And this Morlock... ...is going to... Stat ...is going to bite... ...is going to bite Fred. Ah. Mmm, yes. Ah. Damn it. The sound for the biting animation is so visceral. 
Oh my gosh, she just got two crit misses in a row. <laughs> Alright, so, so you're up. Alright. Well. Well, first I'm going to slide right down here. And stab Dang. this thing in the back. Uh, this one. I'll try that. Please enjoy this rapier. No, I don't think it will. I uh, I insist. I like that I'm using all of my D10s to actually make attacks first. No. Yeah, that's... That's reactions right there. Good job. Glad right. I invested all in all right. that. Back to hero. You tried your best. Try your best, but don't succeed. Skydiving is not for you. Skydiving right. is what? Not for you. Face bolt. Face bolt. Face bolt. That's a hit. Roll the damage. Roll the damage. Roll the damage. Damage has been rolled. Damage has been dealt. It's been lightly cooked. Oh, oops. Right, MP minus five and a uh, desperate striker for rapier. Me. Ah. Uh, Looks, looks like that's all I can do. All right. Frederick, Frederick, Frederickson. You're up. Maximilian yeah. Frederick. That's actually his full elongated name. That's I Fred just guessed that. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. Strike with your bow. <laughs> oh baby, a critical. Ten. Dead. And... Uh, why not make a second attack? Dead. Alright, cool. It's nearly dead. I'm gonna try my luck with a third. Why the heck not? Critical miss. That's why the heck not. Interesting. One remaining. One remaining. Let's see. Mm. Yes. Doesn't seem like Fred has been treated. And I Treat just... me! <laughs> yeah, I realized there was a door. Like, what the fuck? Heal me! And now let's see if I do a Jasper. Nope. You want to hero point that? Why not? <laughs> That's worse. That's worse. <laughs> Do you have more of those hero points? No, we only have one because a hero point reset at the start of each session. But I still uh -huh. at least have my thing. So, yeah. Let's just try and touch this creature in front of me. <laughs> That's it. Chill touch. Give it a very bad touch. Failure. What the? F <laughs> I, I, so I'm, I'm so I'm I'm interesting with the bad touch. <laughs> yes. You give you give the undead a very bad touch. Nice bad just, touch. And it just disintegrates from negative damage. Holy shit! It was undead. Holy shit. I could have used that to my benefit. <laughs> Alright. And that is the end of the encounter. Alright, cool. We should, uh... Press or something. But... Yeah, I think I think I was better off back in the bottom of that well, actually. Yeah. Um. 
Do you want to wait so we can treat each other's wounds? I mean, all I've personally got is this, uh, this healing potion that I found. Um, I mean, if time is what we all need, then I think time is what we should all take, but I don't know if you all are on a schedule or not. Uh, it's not, we're not quite on a schedule. Not incredibly urgent. Yeah. So, uh, wait for the hour until the wounds cooldown expires. Yeah, an hour passes by. I treat wounds on uh, interesting using healing plaster. All right. Nope. Failure. Well. Try again. All right. Another hour passes. And hero points are now being distributed. You now have an extra hero point. There you go. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try and see if I can make it on hero. <laughs> I'm going to then. Oh, I'll just uh treat wounds on myself, I guess. Hmm. All right. Do not treat poison. Treat wounds. It. There you go. The ball again. I was about that. It's the same thing. Oh, it's a golf term yeah. for when yeah, you can good... re redo a round. Right? I I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it's like a do over. Oh. I mean, you could use the hero point. Oh, oh yeah, I could. I'll use it. Oh, oh. Alright, you deal 1d8 damage to yourself. Uh, how do I do that? Just roll 1d8. Ah, crap, I accidentally oh, rolled it. You said 1d8, not 1d30. What are you doing? Trying to cut off your leg? <laughs> I accidentally typed in 30 somehow. Okay. Jesus <laughs> Christ, that would have killed you, my man. <laughs> what the hell are you thinking? I did it by accident. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Get all right. You know what? You know what? I'll tell you what we do with people who accidentally roll d thirty. <laughs> Get tree razored. Oh no, not the tree razor. <laughs> Take this. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's fine. You're still on your feet. We can take him. <laughs> I'm flanking him. We have... Oh. See? He's defeated. 
<laughs> Good job, everyone. Did you have to take the damage? Yeah, I don't make people take the damage from Tree Razor because that's 112 damage right there. Oh, gosh. He's a level 25 creature. I am immune to the 6 chaotic damage, though. Because hmm. yes, you have you chaotic good. Yes, but you're not exactly immune to the 6 evil damage. Or hey. the 6 acid damage. Or yeah. the 94 slashing damage. <laughs> that too. Did I have some fire armor? I'm just kidding. <laughs> That was your full armor. <laughs> Not taking the damage. Alright, All right, you can press onward now. There are several ways to go. Double doors over here. Can I, is there anything in the rubble pile? Oh, there's more doors here. Oh, okay, interesting. I need you to roll me this. Perception check. Ooh. That's a critical failure. Uh, you hit your a rock hits you in the head. Bonk. Did they take damage from the rock? No. No. Rock come from. Is anybody there? No. Why are you throwing rocks? Swans. Hey. Uh. This door. Okay. See a top, you see a broken bookshelf on the floor. Okay. This floor. An even more broken bookshelf with a chair. Okay. This floor. There's no bookshelf left. Just a chair. Slightly Dang. more bookshelf. Why is this a hall of bookshelves? This door. Bookshelf. Yeah. Bookshelf. Like, if I go in the room, is there anything interesting in here? Just bookshelves. My goodness. Yeah. Why? Why do they need this many bookshelves? Well, maybe they used to have that many books. Yeah, yeah. true. Uh, is the door locked? No. Trapped? No. Can I hear anything through it? You hear the sound of Morlocks. Alright, I'm... I hear the sound of Morlocks. Let's not go there for now. And this door. Oh, that's a dead guy. That's while a very, it, very dead guy. While it's apparent, apparent that this large room was originally a kitchen, the furnishings have been rebuilt and repositioned to create an improvised shrine. The western end of the hall, where a large fireplace for cooking food, food once stood, now serves as an altar of sorts. Looming over a human corpse is a towering statue in a feminine shape made of bones, covered in sheets of moldering cloth and hanging moss. A bare spot on the room's north wall has been decorated with mud and blood to depict the same feminine form as the statue. A hey, hero. Yep. Perception check, please. 
own perception? Uh... Yep, I just put it in the chat. Click that little chat bubble. Okay, thank you. Failure. Ooh, yep, failure. We don't see it. Oh. What lovely local culture. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you do, call it lovely. But there is some there is some nice shiny stuff on the uh, on the altar you can take. Oh. Ah. Uh I'll have this uh weapon potency thing, whatever that means. It's a it's a rune. You can attach it to your weapon to give it a potency bonus. How do I do that? You have to get a, you have to pay a smithy. Oh. Or yeah, or pick up crafting and do it yourself, but there's a risk you might lose the rune. Uh. I'm not sure what to do with a rune, but you can take it. Is uh, bloodstone just a regular stone? Uh, like it, yeah. Sells for ten gold, though. Yeah, he wants the bloodstone. Uh, I can take it if no one else takes yeah. it. Go ahead. Yeah, go. go ahead. Right. Uh. Wait. How do I pick up stuff <laughs> in Foundry? Oh. Uh, well, in order to pick up stuff, okay, you have the thingy open. You have the item thingy open, right? Uh. You double click right? where that those three things are. That's the stash. In inventory. No, not on your character sheet. The uh. You click on the shrine offering symbol on the map. Right here. Yeah, oh, click, okay. double, double click that to open it, and it'll show you the loot pile and what's in it. Okay, so I'll take the bloodstone, or who wants the fear gem? Right. Who wants the fear gem, and who wants the bloodstone? Oh, no. I'm not certain the fear gem would do me very much good. Oh, 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 it gives it gives you intimidating strike as if you had the fighter feet. Oh. Yeah, for an attack roll. And it fixed to a weapon. One shot, yeah. I didn't take it because I read it, and like intimidating strike is for melee combat com combatants. Oh, I can't take that because I'm an archer. Archery moments. Oh. All right. Uh. Rock paper scissors. You still haven't taken the bloodstone. Sure. Oh, okay. I'll take the bloodstone, I suppose. Alright, who wants the fear gem? Not me. Can't okay. use it. Okay. Alright, shall I take the take the other one? Yeah, I guess. Sure, go ahead. Yes. Alright. Trying to not be rude. Yep. Alright. Alright, who's good at religion? Was like me. Because yeah, I was like, uh, I was about to ask, like, who is that? Like, is that like someone you may know? You want to figure out raw religion? Sure. No one knows. Gonna try. Nope. You right. just don't know. <laughs> well, no, it's just wait. Just I forgot to actually. It's obviously no one click important. The religion check. There we go. It's no one important. Yeah, it. Yeah. As a, the first time, I forgot to actually roll the religion using the thing you put on there. Now I rolled doing that. 
Yeah, basically, you you surmise that the quote-unquote divinity isn't some well-known goddess. It's probably some infi- fi- um, someone of importance to a cult. Really, a deity that they're worshipping. Or like a person. Shall we continue? Uh, yes. I think we should. Right. Whoever this person is, they're obviously dead. So. Yeah. Open door. Dope. Only a few fragments of the shelving that once li- lined the walls of this pantry remain today. Looks like the regular left decision. Yes, the two doors, one to the left and one to the right. I say... Right. Okay, that's even deeper deeper down. down. Yeah. Let's not go there for now. Uh, what about left? Uh, ooh, a long hallway. Slightly down. Is that gold or bones? I cannot tell. At the north end of the small cave, the mouth of a swampy, flooded cavern yawns. A few ruined rowboats lie in heap on the heaps on the floor of the cavern. Thrown next to tangled coils of rope, remnants of a pulley system hang from the ceiling. If you would like to know more about the wreckage, I would like an arcana check. That one. Oh, Sorcel's got it. Yeah. You are, yeah, Sorcel. You recognize that this that these this wreckage was left here by a Drake. Oh, Drake. And Drake had some fun with these boats and then left them behind. I hope that doesn't mean this is a nest. It's going to come back to. There's a small, tiny, tiny passageway. Oh, it goes over here. Over here is... Intruder, you hear? Uh, you, you will perish for just going into my throne room. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to intrude, uh, we're, we're just passing through, uh, we're on our way out. No. <laughs> Please? She, okay, hold on, do you speak Aklo or Undercommon? Does anyone speak Aklo or Undercommon? I don't. I speak both of them. Uh, Undercommon, yes, Sorcel does. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, yeah, she's still gonna. She's gonna send her minion after you. Looks like a disgusting monkey. That's a Morlock. Uh, That's the. Yeah. Are we in combat or something? Yeah. Oh, 
Where's the combat music? Yo, yeah, once we once we begin the encounter, I'll put on the music. Everybody needs to roll their initiative first. Why isn't initiative being rolled? Hero, roll your initiative. There you go. More luck. I appear to be going first. Good. I suggest you uh, fill it full of arrows. I will indeed do that. Great. Point blink shot. Longbow strike. Why do they have only a plus A to that roll? Oh, uh, you're using a longbow? You're very close. I I use point blank shot. I didn't drag it onto your token fast enough. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. I'll wait for you to do that and then try again. You can you can do it your no it, it still hit anyway. Okay, damage. And second again. Woo, nice. Baby. Critical doom mood. 17, it better be dead. Oh, it's badly injured. Close enough. That'll be my turn. Alright, hero, you're up. Hero. You're up. I think your mic is muted again. Are you muted? Hero! I mean, yeah. Your mic okay. is muted. Miss. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. Interesting, you're up. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, let's do that. We're gonna... Hmm, let's see. We're gonna give guidance to... What's it called? Project. And we're gonna give... Ah. Let's see. My thank guidance you. Guidance to also... What's it called? Fred. Oh. And with that, I... Oh yeah, and just let's use the last action to give stroke of the uh, part two project and end my turn. <laughs> Alright, just keep, just spend your turn buffing allies. <laughs> Alright. The Morlock turn. Oh. Hey, Fred. Hi. You like you like clubs? Not that kind. Huh. All right. You're up, Sorcel. All right. Uh, this can't possibly go wrong a second time in a row, uh, so I will look at this thing and try to recall knowledge on it to gain an upper hand. All right, society. Oh, 
Bill says I can't do that. All right. So I will simply rule society. Twenty-five. All right. So, uh, you know that this is a Morlock. They are originating from humans long lost to the world of light. They are brutal monsters that dwell in the tangled tunnels of the upper reaches of the Darklands. They, uh, yeah, they have dark vision. They are, yeah, and they hate bright light. Oh, so you just gotta flash them. Yeah. Not in that way. Oh no, it is in that way. Yes, that's what I've heard. Uh, at any rate, uh, what that also does for me is it makes them flat-footed to me. Okay. So... Once I find the right tab... Ha! Uh, now I am going to... Hurl this rock at them. Let's make it a sharp rock. Let's sharp pierce it. them. Sharp. Roll the attack. Hit. Fifteen. Flat footed. Fantastic. And I do not know how to add my sneak attack into that, but that should apply. Why don't you just roll a d6 like through a command? <clears throat> Don't you just roll a d6 through like a command or something? With the rolling command? Uh, if I do that, maybe? Oh, there you go. Oh, it requires you to, it requires you to have an agile or finesse melee weapon. Oh. Yeah, it specifies, yeah, so you don't get sneak attack on your spells. Mastermind rogues do. If, oh, they if do? I've made it. So he's flat footed to me because I've successfully recalled knowledge on him. All of my spells need an attack roll. Okay. So he does take the one extra damage. All right. There Don't you go. On, but yeah, that's... Okay. Here. Ah, but that is. Hmm. Oh, it's my turn. Hey, okay, just gonna shoot this poor sap. Alright, you shot him. Five. Two HP. When... One to two hits for me and it... It did. All right, dead. All right. And now, and now the, uh, now the bigger Morlock enters the picture. It's my turn again? No, uh, the Morlock, what? the other Morlock just rolled initiative. So it may have flashed on you. Uh, and, you still uh, have question. Missed. And turn. I think I have something. I think I'll move very slightly and then I'll have a pristine shot at, uh, hold on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Telekinetic, telekinetic projectile. Me. Oh. Fooey. Uh. I think I'm too far away. I'll have to end my turn. Yeah. Interesting. You're up. Let's see. 
What is the rules about uh, like squeezing two uh, two uh, allies? Uh, ally, uh, you can move through allies just fine. Perfect. Moves down here so I can see some. Holy shit, that's our. And then I try to taste it. All right. Success. And with that, in my turn. <laughs> ah, this has its own yeah. music. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am going to move into the room, I think. To here. And... Without any, uh... Fancy... Recalling knowledge or anything, I will simply uh, strike this thing with a phase bolt. All right. Or we will try. Um, you're still targeting the Morlock. Oh. Well, he's dead, so he's much easier to hit. But that still, but that still hits anyway. So roll <laughs> damage. My bad. Yeah, I'll retarget. There we Just go. roll damage anyway. Your attack still hits. Yep. There you go. All right. Hey, interesting. Guess what? Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a taste of your own medicine, eh? Well, I'm perfectly fine. Chicken butt! Hello, damage! I thought you didn't take damage on a success. It's a uh, basic will save, so it takes half of it. Uh. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, what's its, uh... It would always be four, I think. For half, it's uh, two, unless it's... Charisma. Two. Charisma. Yeah. If you click that success button in the chat, will that do it? Uh, it's not rolling the damage. Come on, damage! Broken. Yeah. Let me try reloading. Too powerful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, too powerful. There we go. There they are. Alright, damage. Or well by chicken. Oh well you take Oh no wonder why it's not rolling damage. Her fucking modifier is zero. <laughs> what? There's no way. She has a daze, but it'll only work on a crit succeed. Seriously? Alright, heighten so plus two, but then wouldn't that be a d6? Or no? As if the spell is heightened by two spell levels. So wouldn't he be taking a d6 of it? Heighten would mean that nope. it would cast at le at level two. That's what heighten means. Oh, she cast shield and 
Enter turn. Fred. Okay. I'm going to use assisting shot on her. Alright. Damage. Bye. Uh, second shot. Miss. I'll just end my turn then. All right. I'm at Hero, one health. Try your best. All right. I think I can take like one, one hit and one hit maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, probably get a little, little bit closer and just try to aim for a phase bolt. All right. Charisma trained, all good. And oh, the free critical miss. Okay. Okay, I don't know if sling is gonna work on my game on my character, but I'll try again with a MAP MAP minus five. Okay, how do I load this load the sling? You need to reload, which also spent costs an action. Here I have the macro, let me do it for you. Unfortunately oh. that is your turn because reloading is an action. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. No prob. I'll handle you. Oh, why, why you have? T okay, you only have one reload. What? Huh? Okay. Never mind. Just a visual bug. Oh, that's weird. All right. Interesting. You're up. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Why not? Let's just try and see if recall knowledge actually works. <laughs> All right. You notice that this is a Morlock who thir This is a pre. This is just like another no nor Morlock. However, they are uh, more or less a priest with some. Uh, that they usually d dabble in eerie occult magic. Perfect. Then I taste them. What is the gem? <laughs> Days wars. Success. These are our lives. <laughs> At least once it will be, and then it brings us to project. Starts all. All right. Um, all right. Well, this range thing isn't going super well for me, so I will try to recall knowledge on this thing. Uh, mainly, this is mainly just to get the uh, see if I can get it flat-footed. I guess my. Oh no, you know too much about me. Now I'm flat footed. Uh oh. No, I imagine it. No, nope. don't knock it till you've tried it. I'm telling you, it's gonna. For some reason, it keeps giving me that, like. That error message of some sort. Yeah, I'll have. Uh, screenshot it. I'll send it to my uh, coder later and see what he can do about it. Okay. Well, I clearly don't know anything about him anyway, so... Yeah, that's a crit fail. He can't possibly be interesting. Ah. No, it's not a goblin. <laughs> I can't be sure of that. Not with that roll. 
Uh, all right. Well, I'll... then we will just throw this uh, spicy rock at it. Probably wait to put it. Critical fail. I will throw it at myself. Yes. Punk. All right. And now, it's also going to throw a rock. And miss. Good. <laughs> All right, Fred, you're up. Longbow strike. At the hit. Oh. Hi. Second attack, because why not? Also, a hit, please, you. More than one. Uh, and I'll just end my train. All right. Hero, you're up. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think. There's a langu language barrier, right? Or yeah. Language. It speaks Aklo and Undercommon. Let's see. Uh, Can I create a diversion so it can try to focus attacks on me and it might be distracted? Possibly. Go ahead and roll for a creative diversion thingy. Okay, let's see. Uh... We'll choose distracting words, gesture, or trick. Alright, I'll try trick. Nice. Ooh. Hmm. Last until the end of my turn? Right? Yeah. Alright. So, I might move a bit, right? Yeah. Okay. Sling. Yeah, let's see. Uh. Okay, yeah, I think I got it. Oh. Now that's a critical miss. Alright, looks like I've been for a challenge. Alright. Interesting. Not much I can do. I think I figured it out how it works. Is that. As I have my sling out, and wait a second. Oh yeah, I need to. No wait, is it loaded? Let me just see. Oh yes, it says it is. Then I'm gonna try striking with it since. Oh, no, it's nope, it's not loaded. Let me check if my reload works. It does. Perfect. And then I'm trying to strike it. Let's see. Critical no. means. No, that's gonna be a hero point. There you go. Alright. And with that, you notice that Graugus lets out a howl. And you hear something coming down from the south. Move myself here, spending my last action, and then, yeah. All right, you're up, Thorsol. All right. Well, um, I think what I will do then is I'm just going to move directly up to this thing and just stab it repeatedly. <laughs> That's a good plan. I'm noticing a standoff. So. I will instead move over here, and I will run it through. 
That did 17. not work. 17 did not do it. All right. Well, that was just a lead up for the next attack. Clearly, I will succeed. Nope, you critically fail. No, no, no. I'm certain that was a success. All right. <laughs> all right, you. All right, Fred. You. All right, Fred. You stink. Eat a ray of enfeeblement. No. Oh, it has to use the attack against me first. Ah. <laughs> it missed. I just dodged that weird railing. What are you trying to do? I'm right. sure now. Longbow strike. Is... Critical mass. I'll just end my turn. Alright. Roof. What in the world is that? The Groof. Frost light. Uh, oh, it looks disgusting. What is it gonna do to us? Who are you? Ow. I'm going down. Who knew? Alright, Hero, you're up. I have an inflated ego, and I'll just try a uh, phase bolt toward this uh -huh. uh, Groof creature. Alright. This is a hit. It's a hit, right? That's a hit. Okay. Oh, I cooked it. Just a little. Okay. I don't think I can do too much without. I don't think. I don't think I can attack, move and attack at the same time. So I'll try to guard. Interesting. Not you. All right. Interesting. You're up. What? I see my shield is down. So I better, better spend the uh, two actions to get it out. Alright, Fred is back up. <sighs> and then... I cast you on myself. And I end my turn. All right. Uh, what 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 is this thing that has uh, just joined us here? Uh, oh, I would well, like that's to what it is. attempt some kind of recalling knowledge on this thing. Occultism. Occultism. A twenty. This is a grothlet. A slug-like abomination. Grothlets are flesh warps that were once human. While their head and torsos are vaguely human, their arms are rubbly and move awkwardly. Wretched creatures, they moan piteously when other creatures are near, perhaps at the last remnants of their shattered human conscience. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, the next experiment to conduct then is my other two actions to see how it reacts to a rock cast at it at high speeds. Probably poorly. I certainly hope so. Uh, so we'll attack it all flat-footedly here. Woo, woo. Wolverines. Woo! B4. I hit. Okay. 
I also does sneak up. Yep. I have to figure out how to toss that in. We'll do a total of 12 to it. Uh, and that is me. Oh, I still targeted the other guy. Alright, well, I guess I did it to this thing instead. I gotta remember to target things correctly yeah. if I just click on the tokens. That's my bad. Alright, going to target... Alright, so Gralgus is going to target you. It's going to cast Phantom Pain. I need you to make me a will save. Who? Project. A will save. Oh, That's no. a fail. Ah, did you want a good will save? Because I don't do those. Alright, so let's see here. So you take nine mental damage as well as an additional 2d4 persistent mental. Phenomenal. And then back up with the shield. You can never have too many shields. If your shield is existent, that's too many. Except it would be immune. Because, uh, it's only um, immunity only kicks in if you use it to shield block. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's what it yeah. Shield block and if it if the damage exceeds the hardness of the shield. Oh, um, I get back up. Then I, uh, I go back into point blank stance. And I'll strike. Uh, new baddie with my longbow. Alright. That's a hit. Zambolage. Five. And then my turn. Probably take revenge on me. Yes, it will. Yes. Alright. And oh. back down you go. Ow. Man's gonna head over here. Oh, hello. Hello. And goodbye. Ow. And now you're down, too. Does anybody have any healing left? Hmm. Let's see, that's the process turn. Alright. Hero, you're up. Alright. Looks like I can... Give first aid? but not really heal. Uh, let's see, uh... Mac. Oh, any conditions on me right now? <laughs> uh, can I stabilize? Good. Okay, uh... Critical failure. The creature's dying value increases by one. So you just put him up to dying three. Thanks. I'm sorry, bro. I might have to do a hero up sacrifice. Oh, no. <laughs> he's, he's hey, bro. Their, their name is Hero for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm dying. Help. 
<laughs> I good thing I have a, a backup already planned. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Just put it in really quick after I die. Yeah. All right. Don't worry. You still have. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, administering first aid was two actions, so you can't use face bolt. Okay. It's Phase bolt is also two actions. Okay. I'll have to end my turn and have a little panic attack. <laughs> Under understandable. <laughs> have a one action panic attack and turn. TPK, TPK. And now. TPK. I can do. I can pull out my stable life, which I cast onto him. Oh, stability. Yeah, stable life. Which basically saves him from at least being undying. Alright. Though it remains just... unconscious at zero hit points. <laughs> good, good job. Oh, okay. No. And I cast Guidance on Hero. Hopefully it helps a bit when I end my turn. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> telekinetic, telekinetic projectile on hero. Gonna throw a chair. A throw an entire chair. Critical. Ah oh, yes, a chair. Critically hits. Thirty-three damage. Must have uh, been a headshot. Definitely. All right. Ah, uh, all right. Fred is unconscious. Still can't do anything. Project, make me a recovery check. Wondering how to do that? It's it's that little D twenty symbol on your character sheet, right under your temp HP, on the left side. Under my HP on the left side. Okay. Oh, there we go. You can alternatively use hero points. All right, you've managed to stabilize. Oh yeah, you can use hero points, but you get to find out what the result is first. Yeah. No, it's a. You can just bring them all. To stabilize. Right. Yeah, but you see, there's one problem in Thor Soul's situation right now. They're still taking persistent Persist damage. Yep. So I'll take the persistent damage. We'll and, go to and... dying two. How do you remove that? They have to pass the flat check. Yep. Which means, all right. Which means they take that, roll the you click the, you click that button that says roll recovery check. There we go. Nope. And that's a fail. Yep. All right, so you go back, so you go back to dying. Dying two. Yep. Where is dying? There we go. Does hero have any healing? I'm not sure. No. An unseen servant to bandage you? <laughs> hey, interesting. <laughs> Yummy goblin. <laughs> One off from a crit. Oh. Hero, you're the last one standing. <laughs> Just run. Yeah. Leave Just us. Run. Just run. <laughs> Everyone dies. 
<laughs> Hero, if you want, if you want your character to live another session, just run. <laughs> <laughs> it might as well. I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> well, well, what'll it be? Run or die? <laughs> Where's Deli in all of this? Come on. Okay, yeah. Uh... Just run away. Go. <laughs> no! <laughs> you do it! Okay, fight to the a... death! I need a distraction! <laughs> He's a big fuck. <laughs> what if I know both shit? Critical hit against Fred? <laughs> what? You gonna kill Fred? That's no, don't yeah. kill me! Kill the things! I'm trying to fight with the things. Hover okay. over there and press T. <laughs> okay. Critical hit against whoever else. Alright, let's re-roll the hit. <laughs> God. Friendly fo accidental friendly fire. <laughs> oh yes, let's face vault the downed ally. Okay, uh should I, should I attack again? Oh run! Okay. Looks like I'll try to try to make escape in pain. <laughs> <laughs> Is that as far as I can go? You can you go can more. Go you, can, you can go more. <laughs> uh, you can go until the uh, the squares start turning yellow. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think... Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> All right. I win, I win, I win, I win, I win, I win, I win. <laughs> you just hear from Graugus. Oh my goodness, all the unconscious people. <laughs> all the unconscious people. All right, brand new player only lasted a single session. R.I.P. <laughs> Uh, rest in pepperoni. It's fine, I'll just go back in the bottom of the well. <laughs> yeah, exactly, okay. Alright, so, uh... Let's see here, I'll just save us the time here. The rest of you become food for the, uh, Grothlet. Jokes uh, on them, I taste terrible. Gro me too! You, Grothlets don't have tongues. Oh. Yeah. So in the end, only. <laughs> yeah. Deli so... survives. Okay. At this point, Deli and uh, Deli is the only. Uh, oh. Wait remaining from the original I party. I just realized something. What? <laughs> I can save myself. Wait, you can. Because of my familiar, it has the ability. Where it can... and what's it called? This one. Ah. Alright. So, so I'll, I will be nice here and say, with the, with the power of your familiar, you met, your familiar swoops in to save you last second. And then drags you away. Yeah, While they're chewing you... on me, you secretly crawl away. <laughs> yes. I'm just imagining a penguin dragging a goblin, and that's kind of hilarious and cute. Yeah. Alright, so it wasn't a total TPK, only half the party died. <laughs> Two people died! Again! Also <laughs> while Deli wasn't here. Or Sparky, rather. What I've learned right. is, we need to always have a monk. Apparently Sparky not being here means 
death. Yes. <laughs> kind of hard to do that without your frontliner. Right. right. Oh, yeah. Let's just casually make the entire party but one person ranged. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't realize that was the party composition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. At least, at least we have time to build a better party composition for the coming weeks. Yeah, I'm making a cleric. All right, uh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Uh, Project, what are you coming back as? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, maybe something crazy. Oh, let's see here. Hope I got a call. Hold on. <laughs> Why is my phone coming out of its case? It was killed by the Morlocks too. I think... Okay, let me just make you go- let me just move the, uh, tokens into the, uh, graveyard. The graveyard? Where? There's the graveyard folder in the player character folder. Oh. The- oh. those two up there are in the graveyard. Yeah, they are. All right, let's see here. New act, create new actor. All right, Josh. Yeah, the rest of this episode is gonna be uh, me creating a new character. Yeah. Out. At least you get to come back at level two. Mm -hmm. Sorry you didn't last. Sorry your character didn't last more than one session project. That's all right. I, I mean, I, once I saw the party composition, I knew it would be rough. I didn't know what we were walking into. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe create something that, uh, the, that, uh, the person you made the video on the Abomination Vaults thing recommends. Right, time yeah. to make a dwarf oh, keep it's, it's a it's a no net video which means if he wasn't kissing up to the thaumaturge it was something else right all right yeah <laughs> man like i have the idea we're just gonna bring all cleric party oh that might be powerful oh that this. will fail harder than you think <laughs> yeah i know i know because then we run into something that is immune to magic uh, oh, we can't just heal Nuke. <laughs> yeah. I know exactly the weakness of it. Alright. Since it ended like this, you guys want to call it here? Yeah. Sure. Anyways, that's the end of the session. Yeah, and, we uh, about what, to, what to put together next. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> yeah, bye-bye. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let me give... Uh project access to it.